Hi, I'm Carlos Morillo. I work as an application scientist here in Jasco Inc. And today I'm going to be talking about the different solutions that we offer to measure uh, microplastics. Microplastics are considered an um, environmental concern because they can be present in different uh, body of waters like uh, seawater, fresh water, and they're even found in bottled water. The most common materials that they're found are polyethylene and polypropylene. Uh, polyethylene is used to make uh, plastic bags, and polypropylene can be found in uh, food packaging material, like for example, candy wrapping paper. I mean, in front of the NRS uh, 4500, that is our Raman microscope, and small samples uh, that have a size around one micrometer, it can be placed in a microscope glass slide and can be measured in this uh, instrument. Okay, for this uh, measurement, uh, we use uh, some microplastic that they were collected in the South uh, Florida area. These samples were washed uh, to avoid any influence or in the measurement. Uh, the laser that we use is 785 that has uh, can produce less fluorescence. Actually, we also use a, a small power that can be increased uh, with the idea to avoid any damage to the sample. Also, after we can see that the peaks uh, came out very nicely in a very short time of collection. This uh, spectrum then is sent to a um, search algorithm that is going to identify what is the possible material. And then we can see that the sample that we identify was uh, polypropylene. And to know more about um, microplastic analysis using uh, JASCO instruments, please come and visit uh, jascoin.com slash microplastics, where we are going to find another solutions like FDIR microscopy and macro ATR.